What is the evidence on the effects of the UTS on competitiveness and carbon leakage? There is a wide and growing literature on this general subject. At the, end, at the end of last year, 2017, we identified 33 econometric studies. Only two of these directly tested for evidence of carbon leakage, that is for increased emissions outside of Europe as a result of the UTS. Neither of them found statistically significant effect. As far as the other, uh, all the other studies are concerned, we can distinguish between two main bodies of, uh, two bodies of literature. The main one, uh, which looks at the effects of carbon pricing or participation in the UTS on some um, standard measures of competitiveness, such as uh, um, net exports, profitability, um, productivity, and so on. The other one specifically looks at the um, correlation between carbon prices and stock value of regulated companies. The two bodies of literature nicely complement each other and find results which are largely con consistent with one another. We are going to fo focus though on the first, the main uh, body of literature. And I'm going to briefly try to give you a sense of the variation within this literature of the main results and the limitations. So this table uh, shows the uh, time coverage of the estimated effects. The red cells um, indicate the uh, time coverage of the estimated effects, uh, the years to which the uh, estimated effects refer to. And as you can see, there are only four studies that have estimates stretching as far as the early years of phase three. So there is a delay in the uh, production of, uh, of, uh, of estimates in this literature. That's because it takes time for suitable data to be uh, released. It takes time for the studies to be conducted and, uh, and published. Secondly, um, different measures of competitiveness are used. Uh, here they are ranked in, in the literature that we identified, they are ranked according to frequency. There are productivity measures that are considered trade, employment measures, profitability, turnover, value added, investment, and production cost. Third, the uh, studies can be classified according to the level of analysis and the econometric approach. The level of analysis means according to whether the data that are used are um, micro data, plant or firm level data versus uh, aggregate sector, sector level data. In most cases, 15 out of 21, Micro-level data are, are used. As far as the approach uh, is concerned, there can, uh, this can be uh, time series approach, panel data, or difference in differences. And you can see that 12 out of 21 studies uh, use the uh, diff in diff approach. Now, the estimated effects can be classified according to whether they are uh, sector specific versus sector generic, and at the same time, according to whether they are country specific versus country generic. We think that this classification can be particularly uh, useful because uh, there is quite a lot of uh, heterogeneity across regulated sectors, so it's important to know what, goes, what is going on in specific uh, sectors. And there are, as you can see, 12 out of 21 uh, studies that provide uh, sector-specific uh, estimates. Considering that there are uh, some of these 12 uh, estimates are for the same sector, there are not so many uh, distinct estimates of sector-specific effects. So, about the results. In general, by far the most frequently encountered conclusion is that no negative effects, statistically eff uh, effects, significant effects, are, are, are found. And there are, generally, there are generally two reasons that are uh, mentioned for this. One is uh, carbon prices that were not so high, certainly not for an extended period of time, and generous, uh, generous um, free allocation. However, we would like to, to, to mention two studies, uh, one applied to Italy and one to Germany, that uh, find similar results um, with respect to FDI, foreign direct investments, and specifically, they find that um, regulated companies uh, have been invest uh, were investing more abroad than, non than similar non-regulated companies. Since this is a, a, a 
uh, would be evidence of, uh, of, con of some concern, we think that uh, further investigation is warranted in this, ca uh, in this case. Um, some positive effects are also observed in the, in the literature, but they are almost exclusively explained by windfall profits and not by increased productivity. Finally, some, some remarks about the limitations of these conclusions. One is that, as I said before, most analyses are limited to phases one and phase two. Secondly, the number of distinct estimates for sector-specific uh, effects are, is limited. And with few exceptions, like the two that I mentioned before, that look at FDIs, most effects refer to short-term competitiveness effects rather than to long-term effects. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching.